Hello there, people of the internet. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing all right, thanks for asking. Today I'm out here with, once again, another barred rifle from my buddy who's letting me use his arsenal to create content. Uh, this right here is an Anderson Multical uh, AR-15 lower and a PSA hybrid KS-47 upper. This right here is an AR-15 chambered in 762 by 39 and it makes my uh, polymer receiver uh, Omnimax hybrid really feel like a toy. This right here definitely feels much more robust than my little polymer receiver AR. So both the upper and lower on this thing are made of metal, <laughs> unlike unlike the AR-15 that I own. One of these days I'll get around to upgrading that, but today is not one of those days. So whenever my buddy had given me this, he had told me that it was not sighted in, and uh, one of the conditions of me bringing this out to the range was to go ahead and sight it in for him. It just says <laughs> tactical on the scope, and there's a little insignia there. I'm not sure. Ah, it's a Nikon. Look at that brand name right there. Nikon Tactical. So it seems to be a pretty good quality scope. Uh, one to four power. Uh, it was relatively easy to zero in, but I got it very well zeroed in. And uh, I did fire this thing. I literally just fired it just to test functionality and zero in the scope so I wasn't sitting here for, you know, 15 minutes on the video delicately zeroing this thing and I have noticed that the magazines on the 7.62x39 AR are a little bit more difficult to put in but I think that's just because there's this awkward curve here uh, due to the taper of the bullet itself. So I have not needed to use the forward assist but I bet the forward assist were to work. Uh, the actual dust cover on this thing, it works like any AR-15 dust cover. Uh, the actual controls on this are exactly the same despite the fact that it's chambered in, this, in the 7.62x39 uh, round which is what I associate with the AK-47. This is the first time I fired it out of an AR-15 platform, and my god, I think I might be an AR guy if the AR is chambered in 7.62 by 39. This thing is outlandishly nice. Telescoping buttstock, there's nothing real special about that. Uh, I mean, nothing about this AR-15 is remarkably special other than the fact that it lobs uh, 30 caliber ammunition. Um, of course, whenever I compare it to my toy that I come out and range blast with, uh, yeah, it's, it's very much a vastly superior rifle. Okay, well, let's go ahead, let me move this real quick, let's go ahead and lob some lead down range. I have this out to the 4 power, let's go ahead and charge it up, I got 10 rounds in this magazine, I'll probably lob like two or three down range just to make sure that we are still zeroed maybe maybe it was a fluke i mean who the hell knows nope it's right where we want it to be okay yeah all right this area is right where we want it to be so we are actually going to step out to a further distance i zeroed this in at this range which is about Eh, 40 yards or so. I'm gonna set up camera B and we're gonna lob some lead from back at about 100 yards. Hopefully four power will be enough for me to make some accurate shots with this thing because this AR-15 is very well more capable than I likely am. I know while I was zeroing it in I managed to get like, oh I don't know, a one inch group at about 40 yards which is really 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 good for me. Of course considering that Pretty much all I shoot is like clapped out military surplus stuff and and the bottom tier AR and AK modern equivalencies. Uh, <laughs> yeah, may maybe I'm more accurate than I think. Anyway, let's step out to a further distance. Okay, so we're out here at the 100 yard line. I'm curious to see how sighted in this thing is at this distance. We only have four power on this rifle. But, I imagine that would probably be enough to handle what we got to handle here. Alright, lobbing lead. Well, it's kind of hard for me to tell, but it looks like we hit just a hair higher than last time. And a little bit more to the right. Let me try that again, see if that was just me. I'm going to go for the center of the steel. Yep, looks like we hit roughly the same spot, so we have to come to the left a little bit and just a hair down. Okay, 
Now that we have that accomplished, I'm going to fire to the center of the steel. Well, I'll, it's hard to describe. I'm just going to shoot it. Alright, I'm not sure what that one went. Maybe I adjusted this a little bit too far, although I might have pulled that one slightly left. There we go. Okay. Yes. I can see where I'm hitting, and this thing right here is definitely sided in right where it needs to be. Okay, out of rounds in that mag. Set it right there. I got 10 more rounds in this one. Man, this thing is such a pleasure to shoot. Normally with AKs, you can really feel the reciprocation of the uh, charging handle and the bolt carrier group and whatnot. But man, with this thing right here, this thing, it just, this is really a pleasure to shoot. I'm very happy that I got the chance to fire this rifle. Well, that's all the ammo I had loaded into these mags. I might just go grab myself another box of ammo though, just because I'm having so much fun with this thing. Okay, so this is how you know I really enjoy a rifle. Normally I try to space my ammunition usage out between several videos, but I have deemed this rifle worthy of me going out and grabbing myself a second box of 7.62x39 to lob downrange at our target because my goodness, this might be the most pleasurable rifle I've had the uh, satisfaction of using. The friend that gave me this rifle said that this rifle would, li or likely was going to be classified as his favorite rifle. And I can honestly say, I 100% understand why. This thing right here, oh, this rifle is just a joy to shoot. All right, let's see if I can get any uh, real accuracy with this thing. I doubt it, especially since I'm standing on my tiptoes here. Bring this into the tree a little bit. Okay, I cannot tell where I hit that. I guess, uh, I guess I can't really do accuracy with this thing, or at least not like like stacking rounds on top of each other accuracy. I definitely need a more powerful scope. But. It sure sounds like I'm hitting the target. I think I'm hitting a little high. I'm aiming center and it looks like I'm hitting the top of the target. Let's go down just a hair. Let's try it like this. Ah, uh, goodness, I can't see. Yes, I believe I am just about in the ballpark of where I want to be. Go down just a little bit more. Yep, by the looks of it, I'm hitting right where I'm aiming. Okay, I can't really see the actual, you know, impact marks, but boy am I trying. Let me see if I can clean this up just a little bit here. Alright, I'd say that right there is probably about as clean as we're going to get. Let me try going a little bit lower. It doesn't look like we've hit the bottom of the steel yet. Looks like we're hitting the bottom of the steel now. Maybe. No, it still looks like we're hitting a little high. Yep. Okay, we're still hitting just a hair high. Okay, since I can't really see what the hell I was shooting over here, I'm going to wander up a little closer and see where my rounds were actually hitting. I know I was hitting high and I readjusted and I might have been hitting a little too low to actually be hitting the target, but let's go find out. Okay, so we were definitely hitting just a hair high from what I was aiming at. I was aiming about center and we were hitting just a hair high, but I couldn't really tell where I was hitting. Uh, probably doesn't show up very well on camera, but the sun is starting to go down. 
So I guess I'll have to come back out here on a more sunny day so I can really precisely figure out where I'm aiming. Not only that, but this is only a four power scope at 100 yards. I like to at least have a nine power just because I have such a problem seeing A, where I'm hitting, and B, the target in general. Now that I've walked up here and I've looked at the target, I see that my steel silhouette is slowly flying apart and cracking and breaking, and every time I shoot it, I lose a little bit more of it. So I'm probably going to have to invest in another steel silhouette at one point or another. Anyway, um, yeah, if it's not evidently clear already, I'm definitely a big fan of this rifle. Um, I like the rifle, I like the optic, I like the caliber, I like how comfortable it is to use this thing. Um, I'm definitely going to bring it out to the range at least one or two more times before I decide to uh, return the rifle to its rightful owner. So anyway folks, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, subscribe to the channel because I do this kind of stuff all the time. Um, for those who think that the rifle is hitting a little bit to the right, um, I normally shoot a little bit to the right just because I have stuff piled up in front of the steel silhouette to the left to hold it in place. So, I mean, it might have been shooting just a hair to the right, but I'm fairly certain that was just me. Like I had said before, I am not that great of a shot, especially at a distance, especially with the sun going down and especially whenever I can't even see where I'm hitting. Definitely shooting high though, only by two, two, three inches, maybe four at 100 yards, so I'm going to go ahead and readjust that. As a matter of fact, this readjusts in half MOA increments at 100 yards, that's... Okay, that should put us roughly close, but I don't have any more ammunition out here with me and the sun is going down, I wouldn't be able to see where I'm hitting on target anyway, so I guess, I guess <laughs> I'm gonna head back in. So thanks for watching guys, subscribe if you like the video, uh, actually like the video that helps out with the algorithm. Uh, description down below, there's a bunch of links to all sorts of stuff, including an email sign up list, which is my just in case something happens to this channel plan. All right, I'm gonna go do dinner and probably go to sleep. My God, I've done a lot of recording today and I've hurt myself and I'm covered in blood and rust. I've assembled several rifles today. Uh, I got gun parts in the mail, I threw them all together. Uh, I sighted in uh, several rifles today. Uh, I'm doing a lot of experimentations. I had a lot of content creation go on today. And I have a Halloween party to go to tonight. So this is at time of recording before Halloween. By the time it gets out, it'll probably be, I don't know, mid, late November, if that. I got a lot of back order, backlog. That's what happens with me. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys go off, have a fantastic day. I've done this. Bonnie and Clyde be damned. <laughs> the poor man's Garen. <laughs> Shame that bolt-action shotguns aren't uh, more mainstream.